Hi everybody, Lorraine here. I have an 11 by 14 inch canvas and I'm thinking about using up some colors that I have left over. Um, I have some purples that I have mixed from a previous pour that I did. I have a little bit of leftover folk art pearl that I want to use up. It's getting very low. But um, this is an extreme sheen amethyst. Uh, this is a color shift. It's called Purple Flash. And then I have an Extreme Sheen Lavender Frost. And some turquoise I think will look very nice with that. A little ultramarine blue and some cad yellow light. And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to call it an infinity pour. So I want to do a ribbon pour, but I want to do it um, like the infinity symbol, like a figure eight. So let's see. I think I'll start out with a little bit of yellow. Put in some turquoise. I'll use this darker amethyst. Some ultramarine blue. Go in with this color shift. I like the way that that looks next to the ultramarine. And we'll use some pearl. Lavender Frost. I continue forgetting what that's called. Lavender Frost. A bit more of turquoise. I'll put some yellow next to that. And with the amethyst, I'm not really layering these in any certain order. Let's see if we can get the rest of that out of there. Use it up. is that color shift purple flash. A little ultramarine. A little bit of turquoise to follow that. I don't want to put any more yellow in there. Get the rest of this pearl out of here. Not much left of that. And then I'm going to use up this lavender frost. paint I have. Top that off with a little bit of turquoise. Okay, let's see how this works. See if I can get my hand to do what, what I'm thinking in my head. 
slow down a little. You can see why I didn't want more yellow in there. That was very prominent. It's making kind of a very interesting weaving pattern. Slow it down. Oh, I dripped. I did not want to drip. Give you a close-up. Very interesting. I'm going to get some gloves on, and then I can move it around. Some neat little cells coming up from the extreme sheen colors. Give it a torch here because there are air bubbles. I'm going to add a little bit of white paint around the outside because it doesn't look like there's quite enough there to get it to flow all the way to the corners. So we'll give it a little bit of help. really like right in here. Don't know that I'm going to be able to keep that part of it. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Just going to move it around in a circle here to begin with. Stretch it very slowly. Just keeping an eye on that center. Don't want it get to get too much out of shape. Just going to tilt it very slowly towards that corner. Back to the center. Not quite sure how that rounded out like it did on this side. Just move it slowly. Don't want it to go too far out of shape. Okay. 
continue bringing it towards that corner. right down to the edge, pop it back on. Check that out. <laughs> I want to put my hand over it, but that looks pretty cool. Would have been good if I grabbed some corner catchers, but I didn't think to do that in advance, so. Bring it right down to that corner. Back up. And I always want to be paying attention to where the weight of your paint is. Way you can move it all together. To the side. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Slowly move my center back. Okay, let's take a look at it here. That is really quite neat. A lot of different things going on. Starting to get little pearly type cells coming up from the extreme sheen paint in a couple of areas over here. It's a little bit happening over there. Just have to decide how I want the composition to look. Stretch it down this way a little bit. I do not have very much paint left on my canvas, so it's not moving very quickly. Kind of want to get it towards that side a little bit, stretch that center infinity out. Really loving this here. Down in here, it's really pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna give it another torch. Make sure there's no air bubbles in it, which I do see some popping. It's very cool. There's some very fine lines going in through here. Very pretty. Should be very shimmery too when it's done drying. Turquoise and Yellow turned some of green. It's very pretty. Well, thank I want to say thank you to everybody for coming and watching my video. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.